Hey, it's Ron, and I'm here with Alan. Alan, and Alan, you were going to show me in Microsoft CRM. Um, there's not really an easy way when you send an email to have a hyperlink in there to a, a specific record mm -hmm. in your Microsoft CRM system. So you've found a third-party tool from a company called Sonoma Partners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a free tool. Yep. And you've added it in. And so I was curious to take a look at how this thing works. Yeah, it's pretty simple stuff, but it's worth a mention for anyone out there who needs anything like this. First thing to mention, it's only going to work with an on-premise solution. It's not going to work online due to the, the restrictions on custom workflow. Okay. Um, but it's a managed solution, you import it in and hey presto within your emails or within any workflow you've got the ability to send uh, a record link. Now you showed me something before that did work with online as well. Yes, I wrote that. But you wrote that. Okay. Which okay. took some time. Okay. And it, it also takes a certain amount of rules per entity. You've got to put this up as a managed solution. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe. we'll talk about that one after the video. Right, but no, okay, I'm not sure my my solution was scalable enough. But, okay, well, but this, right, this one certainly is. Right now, we've got one that's a managed solution. You can download and import into your yeah. existing Microsoft CRM, and we'll let you send out an email that'll have a hyperlink to a record. Yeah, absolutely. but only for CRM on premise, not for CRM online. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. So maybe we could um, maybe you could show us an example. We get the Olivier cam zooming in on our, if, um, our example. We'll see if that's possible. So maybe you could tell us what we're looking at here. Okay, okay. So I'm just looking at a standard workflow and I'm gonna in one of these steps in a workflow I'm gonna I'm gonna send a record link. Okay. So what I do is um oh, let me deactivate this for a second. We just get some screaming users outside. The system suddenly stops functioning. Okay. Um, okay. So all you need to do is add this step right. uh, for the URL builder. So it's basically you've added that, and it, it comes up as workflow okay. and URL L builder. Very nice. You hit the properties. The other properties to set are the system name. Um, the system name full, uh, including the name, yeah. uh, org name, and uh, a little bit further along there, if I just get it to scroll on a little bit, uh, the entity name, so in this case it's uh, KTC project. Okay. And, and, now that, and that, that's it. it that's, that's it, set up. And yeah. it'll grab it for a specific record that we're on, that the workflow is. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, for instance, um, in a particular e um, email message we've got here, we, we send some information about a certain thing and there it is a that's link it back to the so all you do if you look on this side here you see the URL builder reference to which right. we created earlier um, you then see there are a few things but the formatted URL is the thing we want to see okay so what does this look like in an actual email could could you show me an email that I, I would love to be able to find one and I will try to find one okay so in the meantime, you could just talk. We're doing this on the fly. We're doing this on the fly. <laughs> talk about something, right? Yeah. Well, hey, you uh, grabbed it from Sonoma Partners, and um, how did you find them? They're actually quite... I wish I could take credit for that, but somebody else found it. You know, I'm going to bug you to make your managed solution out of your uh, one that you wrote that also works with the online system. <laughs> yeah. I think that's great. Quite possibly, yeah. Now what we're looking for is the email. Right? Yeah, I'm trying to find the email. There are lots of emails on this. It's okay. a test record. Right. This could be the one. It's not. Link to project. Are you putting the link to the project in there? CRM record link. Maybe we could find I, didn't, a I, didn't say, I didn't say it'd be easy to find. <laughs> Can we find one in your Outlook? Is there um, one in your Outlook, actually? Well, the thing is, the, the interesting point is that yeah. the Outlook you wouldn't be able to tell. The one that I created didn't format the URL. 
as HTTP, this one does. So basically, within CRM or yeah. within an Outlook Online, right. you you wouldn't see a link. You just see text. Oh, okay. But this particular product from Sonoma, you always see a URL. So you With see a a, yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, in the email. Um, so sorry, I just can't um, find one right now. I don't think. Well, there's the link to the project record there. Yeah, it's but not. It's not formatted as. So there you go. I, I, I well, can't, we'll I trust. Can't find one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I saw it in the email come through when we had someone else in the company demoing it in the Outlook, and the email was in their uh, Outlook system, and it was a hyperlink on the bottom of the email. So yeah, no, that's fine. Let's not let's not dwell on that anymore. So hey, that's very cool. It's a free add-on product yeah. from Sonoma. Yeah. And uh, what we'll be doing before this, you couldn't easily put a hyperlink. You couldn't send someone an email that would say, hey, uh, for example, for a salesperson, we assigned you this opportunity, go to the CRM system and look at it. They'd have to go to the CRM system and look for their opportunities and see it in there. Now you're actually giving them a hyperlink. They click it, bam, it opens the record in the Be CRM system. Be careful with that because CRM 2011 does provide a hyperlink from a button press. Okay. So yes, you could, but what you couldn't do is easily was anything to do with workflow, which is actually ah. probably much more useful to people. Okay, because you're automating the setting of the email. Absolutely. Okay, very cool. Okay, hey, that's great. Al, good. Where can people find you on the web? Um, Alan Ashton at knowledgetech.com and that is the example that we've just spent 20 minutes looking for. Here's this bottom one, it's actually a link. Yeah. That would be my old method that doesn't format as, um, as a URL. Right. So you get that link in from Outlook Web Access as well. So it's, it's a great solution. Oh, that's great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, good. Hey, it's rondajusty.com. I'm at Knowledge Tech too. And uh, we'll see everyone soon. Bye.